How can they do this? Nexon stops development on Lake Luster Gacha Mobile, Arjun Twilight. How can they do this, man? Okay, let's have a look. What is happening? What is happening? Nexon stops development, okay. Around 5 months after Soft launching Arjun Twilight, Nexon today confirmed to the Korean media outlets that it has stopped development on the Gacha Mobile RPG within the game's closure imminent. To sum up, the results from the soft launch phase were so horrendous that Nexon decided not to move on for a global launch. The official explanation was the usual after internal discussions, the team came to a conclusion that it would be hard to satisfy users. Huh. We previously tried Arjun Twilight when the soft launch version came out and it was so bad and lacking in features. We do not even bother to explain in more detail since there is really no redeeming factor at all. And did you know the game was crafted using Unreal Engine 4? Unreal Engine 4. Okay, if you guys haven't seen it... Uh, oh crap, that's loud. Arjun Twilight. A hundred million gold for that piece of junk? Utter madness! <laughs> this is the gameplay by the way. I thought the game was fine. I thought the game was fine, you know? But yeah, it's a bit sad that they're shutting it down. <sighs> Tig's trying to delay us. Okay. He'll be long gone by now. Like the we game is not that team. bad actually. Sure it's not the best game out there. It's not Genshin. But I feel like as a game, it has a lot of potential. At least the battle system. It took long plus Nexon equals to read. Yeah, I've already played this game. You guys can search it on my channel as well. So let's have a look. Uh, what do people have to say, right? Tried the game on soft launch and to be honest, I'm not surprised. It had a couple of things going for it like the voice acting, rendered cutscenes, but there were so many other issues I doubt it would have been successful without a major overhaul. My biggest gripe is uh, and will always be the lackluster of heroes. One hero but different element. They had like 25 unique characters but 100 plus heroes. Shitty practice. So if you guys are not aware, the game has like one character, multiple elements, right? Imagine, uh, imagine Nikkei did that. Anis, you got a fire Anis, you got a wind Anis, you got a ice Anis, you got a ground Anis. Like same Anis but different element. So the game has that. So it's like, yeah, that's uh something that I think a lot of people didn't like. Nobody likes that kind of multiple elements kind of thing. They advertise the game starting with 300 plus hero and 90% of those are just color swap elemental variants. Okay, the summoning system was pretty garbage. Different summoning currencies for each color. Red, blue, green, light, dark and all. With high separate PT counters for each one. I don't know if they changed this at all during the soft launch but my initial impression was pretty poor. Yes, that's uh, a little bit sad, right? Hair of Light does this. I'm not familiar with that game actually. It's sad because the visuals and voice acting were actually nice. I do agree. I do agree about the visuals and voice acting. Uh, I do think the game has a lot to offer actually. Uh, it's a little bit sad as well. Uh, I do think that even the music was quite good actually if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember. The game was built on a character system that didn't look sustainable. Not to mention account, story, gear progression was rough. I'm not sure about the gear thing. I don't think I played that far in. I did play only the, the early access out somewhere there. It's upsetting because the production quality when it comes to the VA cutscenes and character models was pretty impressive. Another game with potential squandered by dumb design decisions and greed. Oh, negative comment. If those are what impressive about it, then it's just another shallow gacha game with nothing to back it up rather than a superficial surface. It's not worth upsetting over. Ooh, ooh, minus six too. Minus six. Damn. Played it on soft launch. What is the game about? Uh, let me see if I can show it. Like, tell me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it on my channel because I play. I only make one video. I literally only make one video. It's called Argent Twilight. Like, this is the intro. I put this intro here because I thought it was cool. Tell me if you guys think it wasn't cool, right? Uh, this is the intro. That I included the Colosso. This is like the cutscene in the game. Not the collection, 
You can see the quality is there actually. But this is the in-game graphics by the way. This is the in-game graphics. Like maybe the people that work on the game, design, and the cutscenes and everything are like different party, but it feels sad. So close camera, I don't understand what's going on. So these two are the main characters. The, the story is just uh, the story is just basically you have to try to uh, you get this character Goldie. He appeared in an urn, and you're trying to figure out. He's an ancient creature and everyone is after him, you just want to protect him. But yeah, this is how the gameplay is like. It's great base. I thought the game is pretty good. Like, okay, it's not good good, but it's like... It's not like bad to the point that you need to shut it down. This is the gacha by the way. So original. Looks better than Tower Off. Okay, chill, chill. Chill, it's not better than Tower Off. Okay, so look at this girl. This is Elsie, the green type. Right? So this is the LC, the blue type. So you get the same character. So one is the blue one, one is the green one. You get the same character. But they have different ability. I think they should just design new character. I don't know why they use the same character, but different color. Yeah, it's just recolor. So one is a win LC, one is the blue LC. Maybe they don't have budget. Or maybe it's just the same... Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. I actually don't know what they were thinking. So this character, this is the this is the blue LC. Has different skill than the win LC. But yeah, it's the same character, it's just a recolor. Let me show you guys the character design. Look at this. This is the character design. There's no waifus by the way. It's mostly like that. Alright, so pretty interesting. Uh, which might and, not be, uh, which might not appeal to stage. most so of you guys, I'm sure because most of you guys play Nikkei. So look at that. So this is a dark type. Will have each element of their own, which is, I'm not sure if that's something that I'm into. Five type actually. But I guess it's pretty unique to a certain extent. So each character has five different variants for each element. So uh, fire, water, wind. Light, dark. All right, so you can see quite a lot of non-human. Now you know why it died. No waifu. There are some waifus, but that's not the main focus of the game. All the... Okay, this is uh the Jer, right? The main character. And so this one is a dark type. LC. So this is a sword fang. You can see Colossal. There's not much waifu actually. Who thought multi-element right. variation was okay? okay uh... characters yeah, I'm not sure. I think right, they are just uh, testing the waters. Uh, this seems to be a but you can see these are actually the playable characters. You don't just use humanoids. You sometimes control like monsters and stuff. Uh, yeah, a bit sad that it's closing down. Uh, now that Nexon confirmed it, uh, that it's going to shut down. Okay, let's have a read at one last essay. It's a shame but not surprising this game was cancelled, but I was one of the probably five people looking forward to it. Nexon killed it through really bad gacha raids and stinginess before the game was even released. The story was good for a gacha. The main character and his vast obsession was funny. The animations were great. Turn-based FFT-like grid combat base combat was good. They reused a lot of uh, characters from my favorite old gacha, Fantasy War Tactics. I used to play that by the way. Oh my god, from Nexon as well. It was nice seeing the characters again of a game that was essentially scrapped many years ago. However, this may have been the most stingy gacha I've ever played, and I've played lots of them. It took many chapters to just get my first 10 pull, and I believe the 5 star rates were 0.5%. Even getting 4 stars in this game was tough, and then if you wanted a 5 star certain character of a certain element and enough dupes to level up their skills, then it's pretty much attempting the impossible. Okay, uh, Sash. Sash that you got shut down. I'll link you guys the, the video. Uh, that's an old video by the way. Arjun Twilight, that will be the last time of us seeing the game. Because sadly, it's EOS. EOS. I mean it never got released but it's EOS, I guess.